guys. So here you're going to see me go pretty quick. I have this uh, Hobby Lobby sign that I took apart. I'm going to cut it in to the size that I want and I'm going to paint it. So I'm just here you see me sizing it. Um, and then I'll be mixing um, some colors to make the perfect pink that I want. So here I am. I have my miter box and saw. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that up into the size that I want. Okay, so here I have my little silicone mat and I'll be mixing some pink and white until I get the colors that I want. So I'm just going to uh, start off with quite a bit of red and then I'm going to add in white. So it'll give me like a, a pretty, I'm trying to go for as close as rose gold as I can, but um, you'll see what I do here. Well, to match the rose gold, I'm sorry. It's not going to come out rose gold whatsoever. But I do end up sprinkling some glitter on it. Okay, so I went ahead and I gave this a good uh, couple coats of paint. I used my uh, heat tool in between. Okay, I'm going to set that off to the side and jump on my Cricut. Here I have some images that I'm going to go ahead and um, cut on, on my Cricut machine. Once I have them sized to the size that I want, I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue. And then I'm going to go ahead and run it through the Cricut. Okay, and now that this is done, I'm going to pull the out of there and head back to my craft table. And I'm going to go ahead and um, weed out my decals. Okay, all the weeding is done. And now I'm looking for, I think, looking for my transfer paper. Voiceovers are so hard because I forget what I'm saying, or not what I'm saying, what I'm doing. And to put to work. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So I went, I go ahead and I use the Duck Brand shelf liner. You could get a big roll for like six dollars at Walmart, and I think it's way cheaper than purchasing transfer tapes, and it works really well. So I use this instead. So yeah, I had to cut off some of those vines where it says "Mom." <laughs> uh, word of advice. Measure twice, cut once. Okay, so here I am. I'm pulling, peeling this off. I want you to see how good it works. My nails are too long. i got to go get them filled and trimmed down. But, and the words were, the letters were not spaced the way I wanted them, so I'm just going to space them now where I want them. And there's a way you could do that on the Cricut machine too. But, yeah. If I can ever get it to where I want it. Sometime today, Jennifer. Let's get this done. Okay, there we go. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest of them. Okay, so they're all on there. And I'm just getting my little cricket scraper. Look at my hair. My hair's... <laughs> What is my hair doing on the table? It's too long. Um, I'm just going to go ahead with my scraper and press down on the decal, like scrape down on the decal, and look at this. Well, let's see. It comes off so good. It doesn't stick to the transfer paper, and it's clean. This is my favorite way to do this. So if you haven't heard, now you have to go get you some duck band shelf liner and use that as your transfer paper. Look at that. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Okay, and now that that was done, I'm just going to go ahead and stick my little vines where I want them. Yeah, see how big that would have been? No, 
that's not gonna work <laughs> but I'm happy with the way this came out and what I'm gonna do now is um, put some burlap behind there but we'll do that here in a bit so I went ahead and made a wreath form and I'm showing you how I did it here a little bit like an inch away from the crossbar on either side and then one smack in the middle of those two and you do that all the way around the wreath form and here I have some um, 10 by 10 deco mesh from Hobby Lobby around Christmas time and the ribbons came from the same place around Christmas time and um, I thought they would be so pretty to use in this mom wreath okay and I'm gonna show you a couple of cuts before I um, start putting it on and that ridge I think I end up cutting that ridge off because it is horrendous it does not look good yeah there I go so I'm gonna cut off that edge and then I believe I go in 12 inches it may be 24 let's see I get so confused with whatever I'm doing so because I make so many wreaths so I can never tell if I'm cutting my 10 12 24 inches so I believe this is either 12 or 24 inch pieces and that's going to be throughout you're going to cut up the whole roll so that way you don't have any leftover I hate having leftover mesh okay so what am I doing okay I'm going to set my ribbon down there and it looks like I'm going to go in at the 10 inch mark so I'm going to go ahead and cut that whole roll at 10 inches okay and now I'm going to go in with my ribbons and I have I believe three different ribbons here and oh gosh these warning these have a ton of glitter I hate glitter it gets everywhere it's so pretty but it's just it gets everywhere so I'm gonna go ahead and cut each of my ribbon um, at 12 inches and that will be I'm not sure how many I used actually And there they all are. They are so pretty. It was so stinking glittery though. So I'm going to gather these and set them off to the side. Okay, and here I'm taking my um, mesh and I'm going to do a woodland ruffle. So I'm going to fold a few times, um, ruffle it up, and then have a little loop there at the end. Okay, and I'm going to set this down. I'm looking for my little thing my husband made me. My little mesh holder. That's what I call it. <laughs> Alright, there. And I'm just going to set it in there. And now I'm going to get some ribbon. And I'm going to add some ribbon to it. Okay, so actually I got two. I'm doubling these up. I forgot about that. So um, I'm doubling up all the 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 what the pipe cleaners on the outside and then I'm just using one single one for the the wires on the inside if that makes any sense so there I doubled up and now I'm taking my ribbon and I'm gonna alternate my ribbon pattern um, every time so I have the dark and then like the champagne colored one in the middle and then like the glitzy glam meat meshy ribbon on top and I just find the middle pull out my mesh set it there at the top and I'm gonna grab my wreath form and tie it on there a good couple of ties okay you see that I'm going in the middle there don't do that start from the outside because I did end up taking those out 
So let's just pretend that that's an outside one. <laughs> You're just going to get it, find it tight, and just one and two, and you're done. One and two. Okay, and here's our mom sign. I didn't show it, but I did add um, Mod Podge all over it, and I went in and heavy in some spots with some gold glitter and not so heavy in other spots and then I set that aside to let it dry. I did get my finger to go around the mom because I didn't want it on the lettering <coughs> while it was still wet so that way it doesn't dry like that on top of the, the letters. And um, yeah, okay, so here I am. We're gonna put the burlap onto our sign and to do that, I just found a scrap piece of fabric that was just laying there because it looks kind of messy the way it is. I mean, um, the sign, that is. It looks messy in the back. So we're just going to go ahead and cover that messiness with this burlap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my um, spatula, my little silicone spatulas that I got from the Dollar Tree, and um, my tabs. These tabs go in the back to hold your zip ties, mainly zip ties. I use pipe cleaner on them. It works the same exact way. And uh, my glue gun, my hot glue gun. So I have that glue gun heating up, and now I'm measuring it for the 80th time. I don't know why. But, yeah, you'll see how I do this now. And now I'm just taking my rotary tool and I'm going to cut as close as I can to the edges to clean it up. If you hear that fan, I'm sorry. It's warm in here. I need that fan on. It makes a lot of noise. But be very careful when you're doing this part. Um... Those blades can get really sharp. You get your finger in there. It's going to hurt. Go ahead and cut all the sides. Why I'm showing you all the side cutting, I don't know. Okay. So now we are going to put our zip ties in. Just flip that around, and they have four little holes on each side of those little squares. You can't really see it too well, but yeah, you'll see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to put my pipe cleaner through as soon as I decide which way I'm going. Okay, <clears throat> just like that. And then you just pull them, and they're stuck to that side. They're not going to go anywhere. Pull your pipe cleaners up to make your pipe cleaner as even as you can. does not have to be perfect. And then uh, give it a good couple of twists. And then just do the same thing on the opposite end. And there you have both sides. Okay, and then for this part, you just um, set your your sign where you want it to be and go through the mesh and attach your pipe cleaner to the wreath form. Just kind of move the mesh out of the way. It's not going to do it any harm. And find, I think I put it on the two inner rungs of the, the wreath. I think I flip it around. Let's see. I'm sorry if you hear noise in the back of my kids. This is a really bad day to edit. 
Ever, ever, are your kids the same way? Like, do they, you tell them to be quiet because you're going to do something, and that's when they're at their noisiest. <laughs> My kids do it all the time, especially when I say I'm going to take a nap. They're, like, and to be quiet, they're just, they're just noisy. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, I put it there on the two inner rungs <clears throat> of the wreath, and then you can clip those off once you're happy with the placement. And you could use this for Mother's Day. I don't know. The sign kind of makes it seem like a memorial thing to me. But I did end up taking off the sign. I'll use it off of, on another project. But I did put a bow using all the ribbons. But this is how I had left it for now. And alright guys. That's what she looks like. She is a big one too. Like my wreaths have been coming up so big lately. Um, That yawn. That was my dog. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but there it is. In all her glory, she came out very beautiful. I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you for sticking through me, with me, through my journey. I love you all, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Psst, like and subscribe. God bless you. Bye-bye.